beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, Enchantress the Babbler, here on YouTube, creating evolutionary content for your own revolutionary evolution. <laughs> this is not going to be such a long one today, okay? But Spirit got me with some things that I need to see and so <laughs> that must be me as you can see like no makeup I'm a mess <laughs> but I embrace it with all my over 40 hotness <laughs> people are like well you know before you know people will always um talk about my age and stuff like that and um how you know I don't look my age and all this kind of stuff and now that I'm freely speaking my age nobody want to hear it tonight <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Do you appreciate the fountain of you or not? <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I'm a little bit high burned, but whatever. So, um, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Um, I appreciate you. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Okay, silly is my ride. Black on black on black, baby. Those are my wheels. Okay, I be black on black on black. Sexy be my wheelicious. Okay, but seriously, um, there's important things that I have to say. So eat the fucking mana in every kind of way. That's why we're here today. I use my own oils and my own hair that I make. If you're interested in stuff like that, which you talk to me at that time, because I'm natural, be me. I haven't gotten any work done, you see. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, and I'm not knocking it either. When and if the time comes that I want to get something done, I will. Unapologetically so. But my... My position here is to love on me so clear, to encourage and inspire you too, to love on yourself like that too, so that you don't need to do any motherfucking thing that you think you need to do because of an aesthetic ruling that is manufactured bullshit, <laughs> okay? That um, will have you fucked up Right? Making yourself feel like you are ugly duckling for real. There ain't no ugly ducklings up in here. Never have you been an ugly duckling in here. You only felt that way, okay? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> right, so. Patience be a vibe. <laughs> So let's get into an alignment. All right, so what did they? Yeah, like I, I want you to be comfortable in yourself. I want you to see me. Oh, I start seeing myself. It's a delayed response. Are we catching up now? <laughs> okay, I think you're caught up. All right, so. Um, I want you to see the leveling of comfort that I have within my own being, right? It's a powerhouse, <laughs> right? Because the alchemy of breed, of seed, that be here, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Not God, they used to call me science, but. <laughs> It'll be my uppercut way, right? All right, so what was I saying? Right. Um, my comfortability is my alchemy, breed of seed. That is a trajectory of breed of seed, of germination seeds that are breeding and seeding every motherfudging way, pollinating you in a favorable kind of way, aligning you more majestically in every kind of authentic way that is set 
in of you for you are here on your own stage right we're just like okay i'm being really silly now but um <laughs> now i'm getting self-conscious let's transmute that bitch I will cut you. <laughs> Speak into my mic, for the bitch is it's sharp. All right, all right, okay. What is the whole point of all of this? Okay. Something. I gotta go. I actually gotta go. Okay, I got ready to go. If I get ready in like five minutes. But yeah, I want my leveling of comfortability. I'm gonna talk about my leveling of comfortability with myself, right? Um, because it's a promotion. And that's the kind of alchemy that exists in these pages. So if you need it, trust I breed it. This is the seated. So believe it. Believe it, receive it, achieve it, okay? We always wear our metaphorical motherfucking bras here. Believe, receive, achieve. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, so. Happy full moon. Today will be my mama's birthday. <laughs> Maybe that is why I am so silly at this motherfucking time because <laughs> crack is not my life. Okay. Okay. Today is my mama's birthday. She would be, how old would she be? And my mama was still alive, you see. My guardian angel, she be with me, do you see? I look like she, but she a very pretty. I look like a hot mess, you know what I mean? But <laughs> guardian angel, since the age of nine, and she has been with me for all of this time, even though she has not been a part of this 3D life, you see. Poetess is me, do you see? In my um, bio of everything, mystic poetess, amongst everything else. This is inner attainment for your entertainment. This is a healing wave of energy. A recording. A recording. Do you hear the emotional manipulation of that lie? I don't feel well because I'm her mama in this life and that means I'm gonna say, okay, okay, I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> Please, uh huh. Hold on, Mama Duty. Hold up in here. Also, before I even get into all of that, I want to say thank you. I have three of these left in the first batch that I made. Three. I think someone asked me to hold those. I have to check my notes. <laughs> I write a lot of things down, but um, I have three left of these batches. So. Great. This is at witchyutopian.com. You can wear this on your hair, your skin. It's excellent too for, especially if you're sunbathing too, to have a nice, um, um, not peeling like um, ugly tan. You know, after you go for tan, because I'm a sun goddess indeed, along with the moon goddess in me. You know, there's a blending. Um, how saying how old would my mama be? My mama, my mama, a genie. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. <laughs> Calculator, not weather, bitch. Calculator. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just had her. So, uh, okay, it is 2022. E me mama is born in 1965. Me mama would be a uh, 57 years old. Yes, I know that I am 40. And you might say, "Wow, well, how old did your mama have you?" 
16. She didn't have an abortion. She chose to have me. And so I'm here. Okay. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. My opinions have been evolving with understanding about my stance about a lot of things that is happening in this world that um, I know they have like leftist views, righteous views, and all these kind of views. This is not what this video is about. <laughs> so we're gonna just save that for another video when I'm giving my opinion. Okay. Right. So, so there's a lot of paranoia in this community of spiritual folk. So be mindful about whom you're receiving guidance from. Okay. Granted, we are all here to be one another's muses in every kind of inspirational, motivational way. And we each have something to contribute. And you have your own place. I have my own place. I'm in my own lane. You're in your own lane. We each have something to contribute in an awesome quantum way. Um, we each have so much quantum potential to be our greatest and highest of selves in every kind of way. But there's just a lot of misinformation mixed with paranoia, fear, and um, lack there of knowledge, <laughs> really. Um, that people will literally um, drain you of your finances because you support them um, and also of your energy because there's such things as energy transference, right? I'm saying the word right, transfers, transfers, energy transfers, okay? And somebody that's a little bit more... Um, aligned with their um, strategy mixed with their purpose who has given themselves a green light to be an advocate for many other kind of lies, right? Because everybody has this hero complex. I want to be the hero. I want to be the guru. I want to be the one that you turn to. Who can I run to when I need love? Help yourself. I'm here to help you help yourself and give yourself the praise that you are lacking, need, want, desire. Maybe you need to recognize it in yourself a little bit more. Ah, I am a root worker. We open the doors. Did you feel that? You feel your fucking doors opening? Welcome. Right, so there's a lot of paranoia. And you know, we gotta think about paranoia and fear, because the two are sisters. <laughs> they are sisters and they play well with one another. And if you allow them to, they will hook you like a jay. And if you're not careful, they will scatter your ashes on full display. Fear and paranoia will have you serving the devil in a tutu, thinking that it was all you. And the choice you made like this world today, reversing every mother fudging thing, gaslighting every mother fudging thing, making everything so confusing that you're just like, 
<laughs> what do I believe? What do I do? What do I know? This world. Right? What do you mean about fear and paranoia? Fear and paranoia. Happy full moon. Because this is all about the alchemy and the alchemist in you and doing what you need to do. Oh, yeah. It's easy, it's very easy to get caught up in fear and paranoia. False evidence appearing real. Break it down. Fear. False evidence appearing real. Right? And I think about all my fear moments and all, and my, and my, um, and my, um, adrenaline junkie rushing. Because I have that. I have a lot of fire, air, I have a lot of elements in me <laughs> that I tap into, water and all this kind of stuff. And um, I like to face my fears. I've always been like that. I'm getting emotional talking. It's okay. So if I'm especially afraid of something, I want to conquer that fear. I want to face that fear. I want to address that fear. I want to know my fear. I want to fuck my fear, right? Yeah. Let, let's get really real about this. Right? And um, in, in being that way, it has allowed me to really introspect reflex get to fucking know many different shadow elements many different proud moments too that i get to have because i have pushed myself to this part of my existence that is afraid right so i'm speaking to you from fucking experience Right? Like, I'm talking about adrenaline, like skydiving. I'm talking adrenaline, like fucking bungee jumping. I'm talking adrenaline, like freaking um, different things that, you know, like, again, that work up my adrenaline, my fear factors. I'm, I'm giving really general, basic examples. But there's a lot of other fear aspects to living, spiritual life, ghost life, um, you know, monsters freaking um truth so many people are afraid of the truth because <laughs> once you fucking see that shit you can't unsee it and if you do choose to unsee it you just choose to become a shell of your own existence and dismiss that which is real and become a shell of nothing of you right when we are in denial or you know pretend to not see something <laughs> Which is like you, right? People pretend not to see you. People pretend not to notice you. People pretend not to be affected by you. Um, freaking, um, <coughs> oh, they don't want me to say that. But like, <coughs> people are mesmerized by you. They can't get enough. They just have to look at you. Because they must receive it, that which you are, beautiful, supernova, quantum star. We are more than these bodies. You see? We are more than these bodies. <laughs> I don't know. I just randomly sometimes watch stuff. Because I'm like, spirit, why am I here? And it's for my reactions too, to bring into the collective, right, environment, the articulation that's needed for the, um, the, what word am I looking for? The, right, to help one out of their own mental, thank you for that, to help people out of their own mental entrapment. Mental entrapment. 
okay? There's a lot of fear. And then there's a lot of people pushing that fear agenda into, because it benefits them. It benefits them in many ways because um, then they become the savior that you think you need. Meanwhile, all you have to do is go in real deep, you know what I mean? To get to the truth of, you know, in so many different ways. Like, I gotta do something too, so I gotta hurry up. Um, so, I remember when I first started acknowledging spiritual warfare, okay? When I first started acknowledging spiritual warfare, I was under attack. We are always under attack. <laughs> but I began to start acknowledging the attack. And in doing so, it increased my urgency and my senses to the alarming rate of attack. I was under creating this whole, I hear the word plethora, <laughs> but this whole like new world of I need answers. I need to address this. I need to fix this. I need to not be paranoid about this. I need to not get my panties all up in a bunch because I don't wear them. And so there's no reason for my panties to get all up in a bunch. And I shouldn't be fearful of that which has always been there. Do you get me? You are afraid of the dark, yet the dark is always there. You are afraid of the boogie monster, yet the boogie monster is always there. You are afraid of the devil. Yet the devil is always there. You afraid of spirit. Yet spirit is always there. You afraid of that witch. That bitch is always there. Huh? What she said? Bitch is crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How you like me now? I so cute, even when I'm a mess. Say that. Affirm that shit. I am so cute, even when I'm a mess. All natural, baby. All natural. All natural. Please <laughs> 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 stop. I'm blocking you. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, you know, you guys know I'm like the animal whisperer, right? <laughs> but I do have pets of my own, aside from the wildlife that loves me and I love them. Um, I love animals. I love animals more than people. <laughs> That's not true. But... I have a, I like animals more than I like people because animals are more good than people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excluding babies and children. Okay. But, um, so my dog, the one that is my, my, my young old man, he's going to be 17 years old in October, he's a Libra, <laughs> right? So he's the only Libra, I would say. 
love you, Libras. Okay, I love all signs. Okay, signs are made up. But um, look at him. He's mad fucking cute. Look at him. Do you see my phone looks the best or anything? Okay, hold on. Who do you see him? I don't okay, I don't know the video. <laughs> he back you. Anyway. I gotta speed this up because it's just some time and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go. Okay, so um what are they saying? about fear <laughs> right so oh yeah the points i was trying to make um one way that i always try to like overly emphasize and overly um get someone to consciously be intellectually um responsive to the knowledge that's being passed on to them okay because a lot of people will hear but they don't listen <laughs> And then even when they listen, they don't um, retain information and they don't understand what the fuck they listen to. <laughs> so it's easy to get swept away with that energy of knowledge being shared energy. So let's say someone's manipulative or let's say somebody's closed minded. And let's say whatever the case may be, and they're expressing themselves opinionatingly, right? They're going to connect with those energies that can radiate with their energy of connecting, right? And so a person that's connecting with whatever a person is saying and they're connecting energetically could, could, ooh, throw a chakra clearing, could, um, think they understand what a person's saying based off of wherever they're at in their intellect, right? But meanwhile, not really process what a person is saying intellectually, right? For understanding, understanding, overstanding, right? And just go with the energy of the creation of the energy and then therefore take it as their own. You get what I'm saying? Play that back if you fucking need to, okay? So it's easy. To be like, oh my god, oh my god. This is why a lot of um, people um, with readers and things like that, or you know, people that do tarot, they like the gossip shit. They like the stuck on the same problem shit. Oh, I'm chosen. I'm this. I'm that. I'm. Um, you're this. You're that. These people are always out to get you and all this kind of stuff and keep you in the hysteria of the paranoia of the problem at hand, right? But what does that do to fix the fucking problem? To talk about the problem every day. To lead you astray. I guess I went back to when I started paying attention to spiritual warfare and its effects, right? And what do I mean by that? Did I prior to acknowledging this not know of spiritual warfare no that's not true i know spiritual warfare all of my day what are you talking about <laughs> <Okay>? mm -mm. <laughs> i listen my family thought i was going to be on tv <laughs> growing up because of these expressions in me okay <laughs> Right. So, where are we? So, so a lot of people are waking up woke. I hate these fucking words. <laughs> but they are what's used. I don't use that kind of terminology. I'm using it for a reference because it is so common terminology going around, being passed around that people could be like, oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm woke too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, 
Are we going into Leo season? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Shit. Happy full moon. Hey, okay. So when I started paying attention to spiritual warfare and my attack, I started going into protection, spiritual protection. Overload. What does that mean? That means every fucking thing you think that I could have come across in terms of spiritually protecting my ass and my family's ass, I was doing. <laughs> Everything I could do that was brought to my attention to, ah, this is helping me. <laughs> this is helping me. Let me cut this cord. Let me cover my head. Let me tie my hair. Let me light this joint, I mean candle. <laughs> Let me put this lotion. Let me take this bath. Let me do this. I ask you. I don't ask anybody. I will not speak to you again. But I don't ask, ask anybody. You hex yourselves. Especially if you fuck with me. <laughs> hey, okay, so. This is a silly pose today, but whatever. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I ain't getting so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off. Yes, take it off, okay? Be free. Right? So you do all these things. I'm gonna light some sage up in here. Granted, these things are important for spiritual religion. I am religious. And I will you. I would think I was drunk, but we're not. <laughs> okay, so. What was I saying? So, oh my god. I need a, I need to do a spell. Don't get me started on that. This is not gonna even be about any of that kind of stuff either. But, <laughs> whatever. Um, so you do all these things. Bitch, I saved you. Better. This is paranoia. When you're acting like that. I was doing a lot of extra stuff. And in that extra paranoia stuff that I was doing to protect myself, I was believing in the attack. Lay that back. In me paranoia, I gave them more power. Making them believe in their powerful attack. Knowledge is powerful. You are powerful, but what you do with that knowledge and that power will determine the power. Let a bitch try. Porque cuando tú bring it, you meet it yourself. Do you understand this conversation we're having today? I know, I'm very dramatic. <laughs> I wonder what the drugs would do. <laughs> hey, 
right? But we got so much to fucking celebrate. Fuck that. We got so much to celebrate, right? So, people that are trying to keep you in the paranoid say, oh my God, protect your energy. Yes, protect your energy. But don't make me paranoid and don't make me fearful and don't try to feed me your propaganda about how your politics is more efficient, effective, or real than mine. Truth sublime. Right? Um, sometimes, too. Whew, thank you, Spirit, for coming through. <laughs> what you say? Some people in their karmic energy, because they might be on a crusade. I'm going to live my life right, right now. Finally, I won't be a bad person anymore. Finally, I'm going to be honest, true, live my life right. I'm not going to speak bad about you, 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 only to my close friends. I'm still that bitch behind the scenes. Nobody needs to know that I don't like anybody. Oh, I'm tapping into somebody's energy that might be watching me. That don't even, you know, that pretends not to see. <laughs> This might be for you, boo. <laughs> okay. But either way, when you pretend to be something you're not, right? The paranoia, the fear, is your own karma, my dear, coming to meet and greet you. And then here you are trying to be this guru, this healer, this seer, this revealer. I just want people to praise me. That's the truth. I want people to love me and honor me and like me and be obsessed with me. <laughs> I want people to look at me and only me. <laughs> if you don't want me to tap into your energy and you don't want me to be a clown and be funny like this to deliver a message, pow, 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 stay your life. <laughs> so, as we figure this out and we stretch, right, we stretch it. Some people's paranoia and fear and extra measures that they go to protect their own energy is to what they're not seeing is that they're they're projecting on and they're trying to protect or raise that paranoia that consciousness of energy that shade right that they're really throwing and they're going all that extra measure mile to spread that fear because of how they their energy is my dear you know what i'm saying so with that in mind be careful about where your fear and your paranoia are leading you and the things that you do and how you do right so children or childhood revisiting old dreams or plans embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing how things used to be scholarly cheerful dependable right mysterious that's me right now <laughs> because this right you will inspire some and you will trigger others both are medicine Right, so stick to right your.
your interests, your dreams, your plans, your strategy, right? The micro and macro concepts. Go watch my other videos, right? To the stuff, right? So no more with the loss of peace of mind. You got victory over that shit at this time, right? Wise cho choices that bring public recognition and success, right? While there's like um energies that might be around you that are like, oh no! Wow! Why that bitch always giggling? What's so good about her life? Oh! Embarrassing secrets. Don't make that come out. <laughs> Don't be unwise in the choices that you make at this life, right? Because there are better ways that will make you happier. So if you're a spiteful little bitter bitch, unhappy in your own life. Mom. Call your mother. Oh. Right? So don't make unwise choices, right? Because it's time to release all that does not serve you, right? Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations of people that hold you back. Fears, right? Paranoias, too. False evidence appearing real and people trying to make you feel a little bit extra about something, right? Giving the attack, the attack that people try to have on you power. Take back your power. Let's be enthusiastic, optimistic, right? Creative, impatient. You got a lot of new ideas circulating, percolating to you. News of exciting opportunities too that are happening for you, for you, for you that is good in your own lane, not bitter or strained or in any kind of way, allowing your creativity to soar. All right, doing things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. Finish what you start. Procrastination being addressed here. If you're procrastinating about something, are you really passionate about it? And if you really are passionate about it, what's stopping you from fucking doing it? Okay, I gotta start going. Right? You are brilliant, right? Brilliant, experienced, humor. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did that my puppy, so he won't come. Oh my God, I love you. <laughs> Right. All right. So, right. Yeah. So, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. Right. So, um, psychic self-sacrificing. Right. Deep psychic insights that you're gonna be having at this time. Write them down on a piece of paper. Jot it down. Write 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 it down. Caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Don't fucking do that shit no more, right? Trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, right? If you are confused about something, you don't know the answer about something, the answer is fucking no. Don't make any moves until you know. How do you know? You'll know, right? How do you know the truth? Because you'll fucking feel it, right? Follow your heart, right? So, yeah. Unfounded fears. Unfounded fears. Don't be expecting the worst creating because when you do you create self-fulfilling prophecies okay allowing yourself to worry and letting it grow out of proportion to any and all situations do not fucking serve you sleepless nights elevate your fucking legs okay so they can promote new blood flow to your motherfucking heart so that you can fucking go to sleep promote yourself to sleep right listen to binaural beats right refocus your thoughts right okay protect what you have created okay all right, protect what you have created. Knowledge is power. Empowering yourself to know the truth intuitively too, to know, right? To know yourself that to, to be truth, right? Energy, energy, right? Understanding your understanding, understanding, overstanding, right? Taking an active approach to that which is yours. A beautiful new emotional relationship and experience too at this time, right? A deepening of a friendship, deepening of your own friendship and your own lover too, to yourself too, okay? Some of you might be receiving a love letter. Dear, as I write you this letter, a new home. Some of you could be moving to, finding, oh, having a new, new, new 
comes on a new home or new place, um, relocating in every kind of way. Ah, I see a relocate. I see a plane, a plane, a plane, and a road trip. Okay. Look at make a choice. Stop motherfucking procrastinating or over and analyzing something. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options, right? Here we go. Okay, one more message to clear here. We are clearing here and we are seeing further than we have ever seen before. We're opening every door. I am in alignment with me. I affirm this for me, right? Fear, I release. Fear is false evidence appearing real and I am powerful. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm a so cute. I'm a little cute. Come here, come here. Can I say hi to Elsa? Come here. I give my hand. He was drinking water. He's awesome. I give my hand. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're all soaked. <laughs> oh, here, Papa. Okay. Yeah. Here. I give my puppy. Right? right, we got the end of certain situations, getting the clarity that you need about certain kind of things, right? Because, right, you're making your final moves. Final moves, some of you might be moving too, or, um, what is it? Um, redecorating, re fixing up your space, right? Some kind of communication too coming your way. You might get a message, an email, a letter of some sort. Uh, invitation to a wedding or you might be getting married to um, some kind of reunion too for those of you tapping in oh the man needs to stop kinking man if you don't want no babies protect yourself there's no reason to have an option as killing to be your birth control falling in love, or the resurg resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on the people you love because you are releasing all that you do not serve, right? That does not serve you. Endings that need to lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations of people that hold you back, spiritual transformation, that's what's up, right? Because you are planning for the long-term abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors, be patient as you decide what is next, right? Because the ah! The wheel is turning in your favor, right? A fresh new start at the, or, and the end of all delays, sudden or unexpected progress, right? Progress is a process. A very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle too, transformation, right? A significant life experience that requires changes to be made, powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. Watch my previous video for the full moon that's coming in this book full moon we are releasing old beliefs patterns and systems and conditionings that no longer serve our alchemy right working with the micro and the macro concepts of everything to be efficient in our efficiency for our process that is our progress okay uh-huh and right that was just one that i was holding from before one more one more one more we'll open that door Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some romance is coming in, right? So we're rekindling our romance, a resurgence, uh, offer dating. I'm putting yourself back out there. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, right? Falling in love, being swept off your feet, right? A sudden love affair, right? Um, situations, talks that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry, mystic poetess up in here. And working on some things, my dear. So you might have some projects that have been on a standstill in some kind of way or a new um, ignited motivation, inspiration, passion for your projects, right? Um, so learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail, skilled work that you love and doing that what you love, right? Here we go. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, right? So that's even in a relationship to a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So 
So, like, too, if you release that which does not serve you, especially in relationship to, then you open up the door. This is an open door ceremony here. Happy full moon. We're opening every motherfucking door. This is a road opener channeling of a reading today. Um, so, good. What do you want to set strategically in your path and your manifestations as you create the path that you want without any debate because you're creating and you're making that wave, right? So you are the wave. You are the wave. You are the wave. I am the wave. I am the wave. I am the wave, right? Mm -hmm. And here we are, right? Oh, love affair coming up here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got to be friends first. Friends first. Friends first. I'm a big advocate of that. Don't be just spreading open your legs or Dumpty, dumpty for every kind of way because that's the kind of karma strain that you don't want to have to carry in every kind of way and have to cleanse yourself in that kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Because justice is here, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure to be honest and ethical in money matters, right? Um, something in your life needs to be brought into alignment in your life. So you're doing that now, right? Getting right, working on your happiness too, right? Things are going well and feeling fulfilled in life, right? But for some of you, you stop appreciating the good things in your life, so you'll start looking around, all right, for those that it applies to, um, right? Helper, okay, so think before you offer help, set healthy time boundaries, right? Make sure your goals are yours and not someone else's, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Beauty, right? Uh -huh. Somehow your looks will boost your earning power. Energy is pretty privilege. Okay. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. I love that in every kind of way. Promoter. Some of you might be getting an agent. Right? A new idea project has great potential for success. Raise your vibration or someone to represent you, or someone to mentor you, or someone to give you sound career advice on your path and stuff like that. Raise your vibration to attract higher vibrational situations. Beginning. Right? Something new is and it emerging or a new source of income look at that multiple streams of income right you're sleeping you're sleeping enjoying the same old things the same old way don't um, get caught up in that kind of way embrace the power of newest and make room for new possibilities okay you okay Bobby? emotions okay focus on your love life instead of work okay for some of you okay now nah, you gotta get right within baby okay get right within okay love will come love feel within your being your emotions are getting the better of you and affecting your career don't do that. Don't let no emotions mess up your flow, money, honey. Okay. That's who we don't do up in here. I guess that's the Capricorn and Venus in me. Right? Because I love to be free. Horse be galloping for real. And for real, we got to check our emotions for real because our flow gasmic could be hurting, but you could be hurting, splurging. <laughs> soul tribe right you're attracting your soul tribe who will support you spend more time with people who will lift you up and not drag you down all right one more and then we gotta go right um a major phase in your life is ending don't be afraid of loss okay and that kind of way tap into the energies of understanding what loss is going to be for you embrace the newness right let go of what was so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you. For some of you, this is a relationship, okay? Some of you, this is um, a, a mindset, a thought pattern, a way of being, a conditioning that you need to just let go because it's just debilitating. It's cock blocking your success, okay? You have the potential to be all that you desire to be, but let it fucking go, you know what I mean? The grief of loss continues to be an obstacle in your life, so that's something we need to address, right? So, so I don't want to end it on the loss aspect of it because this is a mixed crowd. So um, one more for the other side of the team, right? Um, some of you, right? Underworld, right? So find unconventional ways to explore new sources of income, sex stuff, hidden knowledge, probing into the mysteries of life. As the world evolves, so can your means of earning money, workaholic, right? Having strong worth ethics and giving it 100% all the time. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Unmotivating using laziness as a way of sabotaging yourself for some of you too, right? You get so caught up in what everybody else is doing that you don't even do the fuck you. So get to it. Activation, okay? Um, you're activating your soul's purpose and receiving gifts. Awaken your soul and tap into your ancestral memory and inner wisdom. Focusing too much on the material world instead of the spiritual world. 
hello everybody's doing okay we're gonna be a peacemaker up in here a win-win approach will bring mutual gains politics negotiations unions contracts or any any other kind of peacemaking job applied diplomacy and tax when dealing with difficult situations okay all right, so thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in, turning on. This is your opportunity to like this video, to subscribe to my channel, to check out the master link that I share with all of you that connects us on every single platform too that I have available for you and I to further connect on the best that we can, okay? Um, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm here to help you help your fucking self, okay? That's what this is all about. And so with that in mind, um, I welcome you here thank you so much for tapping and turning on tuning in let me know how you like this video let me know what other kind of videos you would love to see let me know what are your favorite kind of videos that i do bring to the table and that i do create um you can follow me on instagram at enchantress e-n-c-h-a-n-t-r-e-s-s -S -S. you can check out my website which utopia.com which is a mother and daughter metaphysical online shop providing lots of free stuff to um services and products as well my spiritual baths are the number one best seller in our witchy utopian um shop as well um as readings and things like that i've been doing readings for people for 35 plus years okay and so um i have a five-star google reading for all the services that i do provide you can check that out that's in the master link as well i am the author to the number one loves oracle book that you can turn to any page for motivation inspiration the oracle message is the dark and night light of my soul volume one love bites available for purchase and download on amazon okay um which utopian.com i am utopian cupcake on tiktok and utopian cupcakes on twitter okay um so there you go and enchantress on instagram and so we meet again this is a full moon blast of a message about fear and paranoia and how you should not allow it to rule you and don't let some mofo that you think is a guru or a person that you think is better off than you or inspiring to you put more fear in you because it might be just their karma you're transferring into your spirit okay that's the tea <laughs> Don't let these demons breed and seed in your energy. Don't let them pollinate or germinate. <laughs> I love you.